Hi everyone, I'm John Cadell, Music Director at All Souls Church in Lexington, South Carolina. Today I'm at home to show you two new pieces of music called the Fraction Anthem and the Agnus Dei. If you want to hear those right now, skip to this time in the video. Timestamp is down in the description. So with this video series, we've been working our way through the music we sing in our liturgy for Holy Communion. We've covered the Kyrie and the Gloria, the Gospel Acclamation and the Sanctus, and now we're to the point in our liturgy right before the ministration of Communion. So let's take a look at the music that we sing here. First, there's the Fraction Anthem. After the celebrant finishes the prayer of consecration, we say the Lord's Prayer, and then comes the Fraction, the moment where the celebrant breaks the consecrated bread. While this takes place, the people sing, Christ, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. There's a reference here to the exhortation in 1 Corinthians chapter 5, where Paul writes, Christ, our Passover lamb, has been sacrificed. Let us therefore celebrate the festival. There's so much going on here in connection with the Passover narrative of Exodus 12 and the Feast of Unleavened Bread, but to keep this video brief, we won't dive too deeply into it. For now, know that Jesus, like a sacrificial lamb, was offered for the life of the world. In the Old Testament, God's people would often make sacrifices only to receive back from God those same sacrifices as a meal. Jesus, who is the church's Passover, was sacrificed once for all upon the cross. But now we as his people have the privilege of feasting upon his body and blood in the sacrament of communion. The words that we sing during the fraction point us to this reality. After the fraction comes the prayer of humble access, then the Agnus Dei. This prayer consists of three simple lines. Each begins with the phrase, Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. This draws us into the moment described in the first chapter of John's Gospel, in which John the Baptist exclaims upon seeing Jesus, Behold, the Lamb of God, who takes away the sin of the world. Like John's disciples who saw Jesus that day, we follow the Lamb of God to the altar, where we experience His presence more palpably than at any other time in our week. The first two lines of the Agnus Dei end with a petition, Have mercy on us, while the last line ends, Grant us your peace. We come to Jesus as sinful, broken people in need of mercy and peace. So we pray, as we come to receive the sacrament of Christ's body and blood, that with them we may also receive the mercy and peace of God. These prayers, and all the prayers we've covered in previous videos, reveal to us something crucial to our understanding of worship. It isn't just a sermon and some hymns. And for that matter, it's not just an antiquated ritual involving bread and wine, smells and bells. It's an encounter with the living God. A feast where Christ is present both as our great high priest and as the sacrificial lamb. With that said, let's listen to the music. I hope you'll consider joining us on Sunday as we sing it together. Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Christ, our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Alleluia. of 
God who takes us.